I was born in Bombay, India and immigrated to the United States before my first birthday. My parents um, moved to the Bronx, New York actually. My dad got a pediatric residency. So I was fortunate enough to be exposed to medicine right from birth because my dad is a pediatrician who then went on to do a neonatal fellowship so he's actually a neonatologist um, and his dad was a general practitioner as well and my mom was a pediatric nurse so a lot of, lot of medical talk at the dinner table growing up and I, I really knew that it was it must have been something really amazing and cool to do after I completed my undergraduate degree at the University of Michigan, I went to St. Martin to the American University of the Caribbean for med school. And during that um, time, I did all my clinical work in Detroit. So I, in the metro Detroit area is where I did all my third and fourth year clinical training. And after that, I went to St. John Hospital for my pediatric residency program, which is in Detroit as well. So when I was done with my residency, I really wanted to make that impact. I was all about like, I want to be someone who makes change. I want to be someone who gets to impact the landscape. And I felt like in the Metro Detroit area, it was really established. Things were kind of well oiled. And I wasn't sure if they needed me there at that time to really do that. And so I ran through and looked at the statistics of which states had the poorest physician to patient ratios and Nevada was in the bottom five. So I picked Nevada and um, was recruited out here once I threw my hat, my name out there that I was interested. I, I've been fortunate that people have appreciated that I, I want to make a difference and I want to do these things. Dr. E has so much passion for the kids of Nevada. It's not just Las Vegas. She actually has been all over the state advocating for kids' health and she's a big proponent for immunizations. She's not only a great doctor, she's my friend, and I'm so proud. Soon after I moved to Las Vegas, um, because immunizations is clearly one of the topics that I'm passionate about in protecting children and adults also, I found that there was a Southern Nevada Immunization Coalition here, and I, I joined that coalition. And then there was the statewide Immunize Nevada group as well. And over time, I've been actively involved in, in both groups, and recently the, the Southern Nevada Immunization and Health Coalition has merged with Immunize Nevada, the statewide coalition. And I think Nevada is ripe for making that broader, bigger impact with a statewide coalition, not just looking at little pockets, but really looking at the big picture that we are all one state, we all have this common goal, and that we leverage it together, we move that needle. We really wanted to look at, can we make an impact on kids, their BMIs, their, their abnormal blood chemistries like cholesterol or hemoglobin A1C, can we make a difference in, in a short time? And so I collaborated with um, our health educators here at work and with the YMCA. The, what was really neat is at the end of this camp, these children um, cooked for their parents and made a healthy dinner for their parents. You can, you can pull the community pieces together and you can create something for kids and we can make a huge impact in their health in just as short as six weeks. Um, Dr. E, I am so proud to work alongside of you and I can't think of anyone else that deserves this more than you. Congratulations. And she's an incredible mom, an incredible wife, incredible doctor, incredible member of the community. Every day she makes me proud. Uh, I think sometimes that I am the biggest cheerleader for her. Mom, we love you and we're proud that you won this award. Um, I love you too. Hope you keep doing your best. My work is not done. There's still a lot of opportunity to impact, to change, to change our health rankings. You know, I really think there are so many other measures that we can work on. I, I see myself as, as continuing to move the needle towards pushing for preventative health, 
I think that the more we start looking at that younger age of the spectrum and looking to keep ourselves healthy, I think as a community we will win.